Back, we continue right here. Bob Pompiani and Paul Zeiss, and now it's time to reveal this latest Ruth's Chris sizzling shot. Brought to you by Ruth's Chris. It's Cranberry Highlands Golf Club. Have you ever played there? Yep. Number three. Yep. Okay. A 56 degree wedge for Chad Ruido. Yes, the Penguin defenseman gets a hole in one at Cranberry Highlands. What have you made on that hole? I, I think I've probably birdied it before. I mean, I've played the course enough that I've had, you know. Had success. I've had some success there. And, you know, some, some not such success, but I, I, I probably have birdied that hole before. That's a high five from Rooster Steakhouse, 6 PPG Place downtown. The sizzling steak done right. Back to the lines. we got Dave in Belvern. Hey, Dave, how are you? Hey, Bob and Paul. Uh, enjoy the show. Thank you. I wanted to ask you guys. We got, uh, both you guys are NBA fans, and I am. And I wanted to know how you felt about James. You th- what, where do you think he's going to end up next year? I think there, I, my guess would be, uh, first of all, Dave, do you have an opinion on where do you think it'll be? I, have a, I still think it's L.A. Could be L.A., That's it could be me. Philly, it could be Houston. I like Houston a lot. I think Houston could be the kind of team that, I think I, but maybe not. I don't know. Paul, what do you think? I think he's going to go to the Lakers, and he's going to get one of these other superstar free agents like Paul George or one of those guys to come with him. All right, so I had a tweet tonight from a guy who said he called uh, Kevin Durant a name uh, because he decided to go to Golden State and win a championship that way. And, and I said, is that anything different than what LeBron James did in Miami when he made the decision? It is. He orchestrated an entire team of superstars to try to win, and he did. Now, if, it, if it you is. regard Durant that way, you have to regard James that no, way. But don't. I don't have a problem with either. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Le- LeBron James went to a team that was, was really not good at all before he got there, and he brought one superstar there. Okay, but he went with well, another. He went, he went with Dwayne Wade. I, I mean, what do you, what do you consider Chris Bosh? Chris Bosh was a, one of their big three. I mean, is, when you're a big three member, that's pretty good. But I don't know that he's a, he was a superstar. Do but you my blame point is Durant for what, going. No, I don't. But Durant went to a team that went in 73 games and had won a, a title and had got to Game Seven a year before. So it's not like, you know, I, I just think it's completely different. How about if LeBron goes to Philly? I mean, there's another team they haven't won anything. Yeah, but they're loaded with talent. I don't think it's. Yeah. I don't think it'd be a good fit for him. I don't either. I think everything has to defer through LeBron. If he could, yeah, exactly. It would affect what Philly it would, does. It would hurt Philly. It would I, hurt I, Philly. I'm not I saying you add a great player that it makes them worse, but I think it would hurt the way they play. Houston would be interesting because I don't know there'd be enough balls to go around for those yeah, three guys. that's a selfish team, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they all want to shoot threes. The Lakers. Oh, go ahead. Well, <coughs> Joe, Penn Hills, we want to get you in. Hey, Joe. Hey, Bob. Uh, Paul, I talked to Paul tonight. You know, everybody talks about the business side of baseball. And like I told him, the Supreme Court in 1929 says uh, baseball is a sport, not a business. So they should start looking into some of these owners for the integrity of the game. And uh, I'm tired of him saying he's a businessman. This is a sport. Please help the fans of Pittsburgh. Thanks a lot, Bob. All right. Paul. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree with that, too. I mean, you have to look at it both ways. Right. Yeah, it's entitled to make money, but man, you got to do what's best for the team and your region. I think too. No, I agree. And my po- my only point about LeBron James going to the Lakers, he goes there. He's unquestionably the man, and can still do the thing. He, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. If and he goes, he has a good young team. Right. If he goes to Houston, it goes to Philadelphia, he goes to one of these other places. There's already established teams right. there. He'd Is have there to another join. Another team out there, real quick, that you may think of that could use. I think the Lakers are probably where he's going to end up. Yeah, he's a bit. Bi- you got to remember, LeBron James is a business. Right. Being in L.A., if you're, if you're a brand name, being in L.A. is a pretty good place to be. We're due for a break. We'll take it right now, right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, Pittsburgh CW.